What's happening, Saints fans? Let's make a deal. If we can get 20 new subs on today's video, I'm going to pull out the Saints wrestling mask that became a staple here at Saints Now by Chat Sports during the football season. We'd put them on if we, it kind of has a rally cap, if you will. Put them on in the Browns game, and you guys know what happened. So if you guys want me to rock this for an entire video, I need 20 new subscribers on this video. And guys, just as a heads up, I'm back at doing the old thing. I'm self producing this mug, so I'm also going to be talking. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to be continuing to give you guys awesome content just chat sports studios are busy today because nba free agency kicks off this afternoon so the whole team is getting ready to do that i'm filming this video and i'm moving over to the nba side to help things out so just bear with me guys but don't forget to subscribe and let's get into today's show because mike garofolo put out a very interesting tweet he put out that arizona cardinal safety buddha baker has vowed to be in attendance for the start of training camp but his agent made it clear that it doesn't mean the client's uh, situation is resolved. So just for some context here, if you guys don't remember, Buda Baker recently requested a trade earlier this offseason. And I'm honestly not surprised because the, uh, the, the, the Cardinals are kind of in a bad spot. They're not going to be very good. And Buda Baker's a winner, and he's a damn good football player. So I don't blame him for wanting to move on. So Buda Baker to the boot. Say that 10 times fast. He requested a trade earlier in the offseason, like I said. He is owed $13 million this year, $14.2 million uh, club option next year. Also, he's a five-time pro bowler. He is an undoubtable, or he's undoubtedly a great football player. He's an elite locker room presence, and he's a very strong leader. And that's something that I believe will mesh with the Saints very well. And if you look at his last four seasons, in 2022, 111 tackles. Let me say that again. 111 tackles. He had one tackle for a loss, seven pass breakups, two interceptions. And then in 2021, 98 tackles. 2020, 118. 2019, just under 150 tackles. And you see the games played, 15, 17, 15, 16. That guy is durable, and he plays a lot of football. So I think he's a healthy scratch to get, or not a healthy scratch, but he's a guy that you can count on and is reliable to be healthy throughout the entire offseason. So my take on this, I would love to add Buda Baker. I think he'd be phenomenal alongside Tyron Matthew, Marcus May, Smoke Monday, Jonathan Abram, all those guys. I think he'd be phenomenal. But I'm also not willing to sell the farm. I'm not really willing to sell the Swamp House. I'm not willing to sell anything too much to go and get him. Like if it's more than a first round, you know, a couple second rounders, like that's still a lot to offer up for Buda Baker because I think that the Saints have a lot of talent on that team. However, Buddha is that guy. So I wouldn't blame a team for wanting to sell the farm on him. And if you want to be, if you're willing to give up a ton of assets to get a guy like Buddha Baker, I don't blame you whatsoever. As we know, he's a phenomenal football player, and CBS Sports listed Buda Baker as their number four safety in 2023. And as for what CBS Sports had to say, they said, Buda Baker is as good as it gets among strong safeties in the NFL. He totaled the fourth highest run stop rate at 6.1% and ranked third in tackles at or behind the line of scrimmage with eight among safeties. The five-time pro bowler and two-time first-team all-pro plays like he's on fire at all times, sprinting from sideline to sideline to snuff plays out before they can even get started. Baker may have an opportunity to shine even brighter in 2023 should the tanking Arizona Cardinals um, opt to grant his trade demands. So when you take a look at this safety depth chart, I do believe that there is a role for him. I think at Buda Baker, you could line him up alongside Tyron Matthew. He's a very versatile player. He can do it all. He can create pressure in the backfield. He can force turnovers, pass breakups, tackling machine, as we all know. J uh, Jonathan Abram, Jordan Howden, Smoke Monday, JT Gray as your depth pieces. Jordan Howden, if you remember, he was a draft pick earlier this offseason. Smoke Monday, UDFA out of Auburn in last year's UDFA class. Jonathan Abram, he was a guy that the Saints brought in during free agency. So, I think that this is a good safety room, but 
don't get me wrong. I would not hate to bring in Buda Baker. I just don't want to give up the entire farm to go get him. I don't want to give up a ton of assets. So I want you to be the GM. Put yourself in the shoes of Mickey Loomis. What would you offer in a Buda Baker trade? It, let me know. Would you offer up a couple picks? Would you offer some players? Kind of a combination of both. Maybe throw Traquan Smith and, and like Bradley. I don't know. You get creative in the comment section because I'm curious. I'm curious as to what the Houdat Nation has to say. So let me know in the comment section. This is the pin comment. So if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, take advantage of it and let me know your thoughts. So I do want to show some love to the Honey Badger because as we mentioned in that CBS article, they had Buda Baker at the number four safety. But despite being 31 years old, CBS Sports listed Tyron Matthew as the number nine safety last year. And here's the thing. In their write-up, they said he may not be the same guy. He may not be the same Honey Badger that we once knew and loved that earned that nickname. But here's what I will say. He is still a phenomenal football player. And here's today's chat stats segment. We're going deep dive analytics. We're looking at the advanced stats and we're breaking it down because that's what we do here, which is why you should subscribe. So his PFF coverage grade at an 88.1 was first among all safeties in the NFL. If that doesn't say he can still play ball, I don't know what does. He allowed 7.6 yards per reception, which was tied for fourth among the NFL. And passer rating when targeted was just 65.9, which was tied for sixth. And then when you look at what he was able to accomplish on top of that, 91 tackles. You also had eight pass breakups. He led the team in interceptions with three. Obviously, I wish that was a higher number, but let's not be, let's not you know, take away from the fact that he's still leading teams in uh, interceptions at 31 years old. He also forced a fumble in the background picture. You can see Tyron Matthew with one of those turnovers versus the Vikings over in London. Gotta love that. Wish we won that game. So I just want to show some love to Tyron Matthew. Just take a couple of minutes to uh, show some appreciation to the Honey Badger, to one of the NFL greats, and to, in my opinion, one of the better team or players on this current Saints team. And guys, it is the kickoff of NBA free agency this afternoon. So Chat Sports is going to be live covering every move, every rumor, every update. So be sure to subscribe, tune in and let us uh, or and and join us because it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I, we're going to be throwing back beers, we're going to be hanging out taking shots, talking ball. It's going to be elite. We're going to be talking about the Pelicans. We're going to be talking about possi the possibilities with James Harden, Zion, all sorts of fun stuff. So be sure to tune in, lock us in, join us for NBA free agency because it's going to be a blast. And also, I want to know, I'm not a huge NBA guy, just self-admittedly. I don't pay a ton of attention to the NBA because I'm football through and through. But I want you to let me know a player you want the Pelicans to add in free agency. I've seen some buzz about Dame trades going on and stuff. I've seen some stuff with James Harden. I think it's going to be interesting, and I think that this is the best time to lock in and learn more about the NBA. So join me at the NF or NBA Live free agency coverage. I'm going to be learning more ball. I'm going to be co or talking about it, watching it, and I'll probably go and hang out and take a few shots if the Houdat Nation represents. But I want to know, name a player you want the Pels to add in free agency. So to round things out, guys, I want to talk about signing a linebacker because Kyle Van Noy, he is still available in NFL free agency, and I truly do believe that the Saints could use a veteran depth piece right there. And he's not even going to be a depth piece. He's going to be a starter because I think that he could fill in for Zach Bond. I think he's a little bit more polished. I think he's a little bit better of a player, has a better football IQ. And that's not to take away from Zach Bond. That's just praise to Kyle Van Noy because he's an all-around guy. He can be a really good run stopper. He can play in coverage. He can move around the field and do whatever you need him to. But Pete Werner, Demario Davis, Zach Bond, I think it would be a little bit more appealing to have Pete Werner, Demario Davis, and Kyle Van Noy. And when you take a look at the numbers that he put up last season with the Chargers, 46 tackles, five sacks, three pass breakups, and nine quarterback hits. He's a guy who can create a lot of disruption for an opposing offense. He's somebody that I truly am pretty high on, and I'm kind of surprised he hasn't signed with the team already. Because he's, like I said a minute ago, 
He's very versatile. He's a player that can do it all. He can be a quality veteran piece. He's been around the league for a long time. He knows how to win games. He knows how the, game, uh, how the speed and how the game of football works. And if you don't have a ton of confidence in DeMarco Jackson to be a long-term development, or not a long-term piece, but be a developmental piece to eventually take over for Zach Bond, because personally that's what I want to happen, I think that it's, Interest, an interesting idea to go sign a guy like Kyle Van Noy because you don't have to go and trade a ton of stuff like you would for some of the other linebackers that are available, like a Patrick Queen or you know Devin White or you know whatever. Like you don't have to go and offer a ton of capital. You can just go and sign him and bring him in for a pretty reasonable price. So guys, let me know. You tell me. Would you sign Kyle Van Noy in an NFL free agency? I truly do believe that you could go get him for like a vet min. I don't think you need to pay him all that much money. The Saints still have quite a bit of money to spend. So you tell me, keep in mind, maybe you saving some money for a Hunter Renfro trade down the road, but I still think that adding to the linebacker room would make some sense. So who that nation, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you know ball, prove it in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up icon and as always, y'all stay golden. We'll catch you next time.